K Beats, Double K Productions. I am back with you in pre Zone Studio 1 4, man. Back with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be real quick. I know I said that last tutorial, but it don't matter. It's going to be real quick. All I want to show you is how to get them high ends sitting right, sitting good in an R&B vocal. You get what I'm saying? So... Just real quick, because uh, this song haven't been released yet, and I do not want to put out too much of this song, but this is the only one that I can do that sounds legit, sounds vibey, R&B-ish, just like, not ish, it is R&B, just sounding good. So this is the only one I got the good high ends that I can show y'all how I got it sounding like it sounds. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Oh yeah, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so you'll be notified every time I post something. Thank you for tuning in, salute to you, and salute to all the troops, man. Link down below to the uh, latest song, Salute, that I made. Uh, go ahead and stream that if you, if you, if you will. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to show the high ends, but what I really want to do is I'm just going to uh, highlight this part right here. That's all I want to play. I don't want to do too much because, uh, like I say, this song haven't been released yet. So, that's all I'm going to loop. And this is all you're going to hear. So, I apologize for that. Not really. Because uh, this tutorial, I'm trying to help you out. And... Sorry for clicks and pops, man. I got this low uh, CPU. CP... Uh, you computer and it, it be cracking and popping and see that I had to turn off all my plugins, even the dang reverb and delays. I might turn that on or something, but uh, it all depends on the click and pop. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Let me let y'all hear it. Hold on. Sorry for clicks and pop. Sorry about that, but it's uh it's about the high end. So let me just show you how I got the high end sitting like it, it does. Real quick, uh, trying to get it to sound as good as possible, show y'all the effects. But as soon as I turn them bitches on, uh, sorry for as soon as I turn them on, it freaking cracks, man. This uh, I'm about to cry. You can see the frustration in my face. But anyway, high end. Look at that. Boom. Well, let's go ahead and pick that. So with that, how I got these high ends sounding right, but you don't want too much high end in the R&B vocal because it gets, and he had a lot of S's in it. Play, play, ma. That may mean play is a P, but he do got some S's in there. And uh, see that what I done is I like to take out first. So I took out some of some of this muddiness right here, and I took out some. Of this. Harsh. So I took out that first, and then I came back with the highs, and then, of course, I have a, a channel on here. You see the highs hitting right there. Just a bunch of highs in this vocal because he had a Trey Song type vibe, so I wanted to, uh, and the song start called Childish Game. Sorry, I didn't even tell y'all that. Uh, it's called Childish Game by Marcellus Wilton, which would be my little brother, and uh, he'd be killing it, man. Wait, wait for his album to come out. You'll be the first to hear it promise you uh i'm actually recording and mixing his whole album producing it uh not producing the beat but uh you know making it making it sound good definitely some old high ends right here uh not too major on this one but it's it's a ton of highs what uh what a highs right here as you see not too major but with all these plugins going on you're gonna get that high end sounding right 
See, not too major. But the key is when you do all that, you want to go back on this track itself because all that's all these vocals is bust into the hook bust. That way, I just clean it up that way and then add my sweetness with some uh, auto tune, some uh, in saturation and stuff like that. I put that on the fader itself. That's why my CPU is jumping like it is. And then I DS. I Uh, taking them to 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 it's the uh, harsh harsh uh, s's like that and them t's and stuff that's pierce your ear because when you're messing with high ends on um, any vocals if you can you can do high ends on rap vocals in this particular case i just want to show you r&b vocals because we're really messing with the high ends and getting them sweet sweeten up that way he can sound present within this uh this beat And you might be looking at the 17 dB and you might be like, hey, you got a lisp? No, it works perfectly fine. No lisp. It's just I'm boosting so much high end that I need to, to subtract a little bit more because it's too much high end that I'm boosting. But it sounds so good within that instrumental and that clarity and that present and your face just rocking and vibing. I just de it that much because it's hard. You get what I'm saying? So with that, the DS it like that. Let's turn the bypassing and uh, turn it That I don't want to play no That I don't want to play This bypassed, sorry. That I don't want to play See that two, that T. T -t -t -t. That I don't want to play That I don't want to play no See, just straight plain dot, no t -t 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 harsh T in there, just plain out. But you could definitely hear the subtra uh, subtracting in it. It definitely brings down it and makes it uniformly. And then it might sound squashing it, but not really. It's it's just hitting right because what I got behind it. And I'm about to get into that. First. That I don't want to play. That I don't want to play. That I don't want to play. With that, why it sounds so good, you backdoor with an uh, R-Vox. Now, R-Vox, I love to put this R-Vox on the track itself, as in the fader itself, where the vocal's going into. Uh, this, uh, I do everything inside a bus to save on C CPU, but that's just cleaning up. Like I said, I add all the sweetness on the track itself, which is R-Vox. I love it. And then I backdoor it with this, and that way, it's still compressing, but I also... Have that uh the vocal sitting level playing that way, it it just DSing but also putting some back in. It's a little bit a little bit more uh compression and sound back in. That I don't want to play. That bypass compression. That I don't want to play no. That I don't want to play. That bypass. That I don't want to play. That I don't want to play no, no. See, it just all sounds uniform and like you take it off. That I don't want to play no, no, no more, more. That I don't want to play no, no, no more. And that's uh, pretty much it on this tutorial. I just wanted to show y'all the high ends and how I got it like that. It's basically starting it off with a, a foul filter, of course, taking out some of them lows and that muddiness. Because, like I say, this song is a Trey song type vibe, and I want it. Uh, I wanted that vibe that Trey Sons like to have. He got that high hands normally sitting right and uh he he present but also rocking with the beat. So I'm like, uh let's 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 do what 
his mix engineer like to do and stuff like that. And then the way my brother wrote the song is it gives off that vibe. I'm like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? So it just, this was a vibe song and I felt it so much. So the high ends, it had to be sitting there. And I normally don't boost as much. It's 3 dB boost right here. And the mids, and I added a little bit of uh, 1K in it because... I didn't want to uh, take out his bass and his voice, you know what I'm saying? I still wanted some of that grit in there. So I, I added some of them 1Ks in there, some of that, that where, they, where, you know, where the telephone effect sit and stuff like that. But I didn't want to just take out all his bass and his voice and just make it sound unnatural, make him sound unnatural. So, but the high ends is normally, I, I love that high end right there. And like I said, I backdoed it with uh, channel uh SL channel, love this, love this uh, EQ slash compressor uh, plug-in right here. I, I'm going to get it right, I'm telling you. Uh, I just love it. And as you see, if I turn this off, it's definitely different. I don't want to play no, no, no more, more I don't just cleans it up just that much and you might be seeing uh uh compressor that's cause uh everything's not on everything's not here I don't want to play no 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 mama I don't Definitely, that makes a difference when you don't. I don't want to play no, no, no. Thank you for tuning in the tutorial. Hopefully, it showed you something. Hopefully, you you learned from it. It's just that quick. I didn't want to go too much and too too uh too over what I was really trying to show y'all about the high ends. This is an R and B vocal. Like I say, it's vibey. That's what I done with the high ends. I just wanted to show y'all that because it can be done. You can mix them highs like that, but you also have to be guessing because you would be putting in too much hard stuff. But that's your preference. That's what you want to do. However you want to do it, I was just showing you how I done it. And it sounds excellent. Sorry, I couldn't put the reverb and stuff on there. Like I say, CPUs. Uh, boom, blow the computer up. But uh, thank you for tuning in again. This is Double K Beats. Double K Productions, like I say, salute. My son, salute. It's in iTunes in all major stores. Go cop it. It's in the link down below. I don't even have to cop it. Go stream it, man. Nobody want to play 99 cents for it. Go stream it. Listen to it and support all your troops. I dropped it this 4th of July, man. And uh, it's out there. So thank you for tuning in.